so yeah, so um, we went to Clamp Light and um, in San Antonio, which is the artist-run space, and then we visited Sarah Fox. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you, I mean, you're you're visiting studios like specifically right now, or is that just something that you do? That was just something I did. It just happened to be at the time um, I had scheduled with her probably a month before, um, and just said, "Hey, if you want to come," because um, I use it as a way. It's like school. It's like I go into their space, I get to see what they're working on, probably stuff that they haven't shown, and then talk to them personally about their artwork. And I think for the most part they enjoy it because it's, you know, it's an artist to artist. I'm not a curator coming in trying to like figure out if I can sell their work or show their work. Um, maybe I, you know, I don't, I think there's some stuff that for me is maybe not my discussion. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, like, I find all the stuff that's going on with, like, young black men and how, and the police, and mm -hmm. I mean, it's terrifying. Or even, like, Mark the um, Woodson at Art Pace, she has, she did, like, a half black face. And when I talked to her about it, yeah. uh, Michelle, she played Michelle Obama. Oh. And um, when I, talked to her about it, she said that she actually went to black male and female artists to get like the okay. Really? She got some thumbs, she got some those, <laughs> yeah. but she did get more like, yeah, if I can do it. Well, and this I is from this... black people telling her. Yeah. Because if you, you, if you see it, I mean, it's supposed to be looking like, she's supposed to look like Michelle Obama and, and she's yeah. torn halfway between it, but it just looks like black face to me. Oh, man. And I know, that, and talking to her, I know that wasn't yeah. her intention, but yeah. it's just like, do you yeah. feel comfortable like trying to explore and maybe not, in some people's views, being successful in that? Like, I think the stuff, and I have like, there are figures in my work that are like, you know, she's from like Thailand, this little girl, yeah. but like there's uh, like kids of color and people of color in my work, but it's more of a just like, I'm not commenting on anything that's like, I'm just like, their well, kids are beautiful, all, yeah. you know, and it's like, Sweet like, soul, do you feel? Um, I just think that for me, like, when I was doing the work about kids and including a lot of kids that aren't white, like, those are just the kids that are around me. Mm -hmm. Like, my, my nieces are um, half Chinese mm -hmm. and then, like, Raul and Casey's kids, yeah. those are the kids that are around me. And so, you know, it's funny, like, I'm like... Those are just the little faces I respond to when I'm looking yeah, through books true. and stuff. Did you feel like you got something out of it or did you feel like you didn't really get anything? No, I did. I got something out of it uh, as far as like understanding her work better, um, getting her opinions on certain issues that I think about in my work, and then just a good check-in with someone who was like a mentor to me in school. I don't know, when you're talking to artists, Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's important to have like these basic connections even though your work is like fundamentally, I mean not fundamentally different, but like you're working with different, different ideas mm -hmm. of making work? I think I have to have some kind of interest in it, um, mm -hmm. conceptually, aesthetically, something, materials, and so as far as her, her, her hand I'm interested in. Um, I think I'm attracted to a lot of like painters and draftsmen who can do things that I'm unable to do yet and have, like uh, actively working towards. So I think that's part of it too, is kind of like understanding like the materials they use or maybe um, being able to without like just asking them straightforwardly, like, how do you do this, but just kind of figuring it out on my own and maybe it will like come up in my toolbox later to be able to use. Has there been like a specific studio visit that you've done or you want to meet with to maybe help you with these projects coming up? I, I, I'm meeting with Christy right before I fly out. Um, Christy who? Christy Blizzard. Uh, right before I fly out uh, January 3rd to go to Georgia to work on another uh, project that I've been doing for a few years. Um, I'm looking forward to that because um, the last, she was my senior seminar professor. Um, the two years since then, we've still been able to interact, and she's been very fundamental in like helping me think about how to work as a professional artist. And then also, I like her work, and I like how she's um, she kind of she purposely um, doesn't box herself in, or maybe doesn't allow others, and she kind of does these different things that I think are very interesting.
No, it's great. I mean, it was. I came here. Um, I got to spend about seriously two and a half hours here, and it was like during the day, so there wasn't many people in the space. It was very quiet and kind of like um, you know, if you go into a place of not to say worship, but a place where it's quiet, like a library, a church. I looked at it as like that, and I was able to like be in front of artist works that like I've only been able to see through like a screen or through a book. Um, and I haven't actually seen a lot of these things in person, and then I got to do that and like study their mark making, their color choices, their composition, things like that. And then as far as like <laughs> gonna have work you know in the same building like what the hell man like I'm that's cool but it's just like uh I take it as like a good a good thing but like a responsibility yeah hi Yella that's like what um that, that more relates to my sister actually Damaris um she's a very fair complexed young lady um very beautiful I love my sister she was always like someone like we went through it together she's only two years younger than me and she is a female who is very like reflective, who had to deal with a lot of microaggressions and just aggressions and go through that. And I would constantly have to defend and fight, and she had to as well. And it was just like, this is not just something that others would say to us. This is what, this is like a sub racism of black people or other mixed race people would say to other people. And it can be endearing if they mean it, but it can also be very sexual and like provocative. And it can be used to like show that 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 implemented like it was implemented this to, to make a division between light skinned blacks and dark skinned blacks or whatever you want to say. But this is like yeah, hey, high yellow arc. Oh, she's high yellow. That can mean like she's bougie or like she's stuck up too. You know what I mean? It just depends on how you say it, and that's what I like because there's so many ways to say that where I'm from, and it can be so.